Hey everyone, it's Brandon with RV Travel and Six. Today we're going to do a maintenance video. Um, most of y'all know by now that we've upgraded our rig from our Jayco to a uh, Fleetwood Discover 44B. And so uh, we've been out and about traveling and for the last uh, week or so we've been boondocking over at my wife's family's place. And so we've been flat out just boondocking. So we've been running the generator, not constantly around the clock, but uh, uh, keeping cool and whatnot, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to start adding up on hours pretty quick. Uh, so it's that time to actually do our old change. So why not? Uh, <laughs> any better, any time better than other when you're actually going to do maintenance to do a YouTube video. Uh, so here we are. Uh, so I was going to tell you our uh, model. So we have an Owen QD8000. Uh, this is a Cummins diesel. And as far as our uh, model number and everything, you can find it here. And so uh, you can, if you can't find anything in the manual, you can contact Cummins uh, for your filter type and everything. But you can also find uh, your oil what type of oil you want here it just depends on what your temperatures are uh, most of us are going to be 15 weight 40 and of course this thing holds uh, three quarts of oil so um, the filter and everything uh, I went ahead and bought those so the oil that we're going to be putting back in it is going to be the mobile Dolvac 1300 Super, that's a 15 weight 40. Uh, and I went ahead and went back with a uh, Cummins actual filter. And the part number on that's 0122-0833. Uh, this is the uh, manufacturer's filter. We're not going to put a Wix or anything like that in it. Uh, as far as other tools that you may need, I know for ours, for instance, I do need the torque you'll need. Because uh, underneath, they actually put the uh, the door where the oil filter is, is actually blocked by your muffler. So I got to actually take that compartment door apart. I'm also using a uh, 3.8 socket. Uh, that's going to be actually for the drain plug. I also have gloves, paper towels, my funnel, and of course, uh, my old drum. And the only thing we're actually missing here is my... Uh, actual ill will filter ranch which i'll grab that here in a little bit so now we're underneath the uh the actual motor home um the generator pulls out uh but because this bracket here the oil drain is actually right underneath this bracket so we have to push the uh, generator back in a little bit to actually access that and so you can see it right there and then also the uh, the compartment to where we got to get to the actual oil filter. I did notice this before I started the video that we won't be able to actually access it because of the muffler. Uh, so I'll go ahead and take these brackets off. Uh, so that way we have easy access to the oil filter itself. So. But just a reminder, uh, this is going to be uh, three eighths for the actual oil drain. And then this is going to be a T30 uh, torque uh, to actually remove this door. So let's go ahead and get started. actually see the uh, where the oil filter is going to be so it's going to be a little bit tight squeeze uh, that's where that oil ranch oil filter ranch will come in handy so we can loosen that up uh, hopefully this is not too much of a mess <laughs> when we uh, do take it loose hopefully the oil, the oil drains out so uh, otherwise uh, we have a little bit of a mess to clean up so I 
also make sure while you're pulling the oil plug that you go ahead and pull the dipstick as well. everything back together uh, so what you want to do this oil filter is actually mounted sideways on the generator uh, so we won't be able to fill it up with oil I mean we can put a little bit in it uh, not much and so and then also you want to rub oil on the seal and so uh, we'll go ahead and do that real quick And what this does is uh, helps you uh, when you tighten it up, um, when you go for your next oil change, it won't be super tight. You'll be able to actually uh, get it off there a little bit easier. So otherwise you're gonna be sitting there really choking at it. <laughs> so. that you uh, get it a little bit tight I want to make sure it's not loose and then we get a rag for final cleanup before we put everything back together and then we're gonna Double check before we uh, do put the cover and everything back on that there's no leakage or, or anything like that, uh, just to be on the safe side. So, even though you get it on there tight, it's not a bad idea to double check. So, do keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and start filling oil. All right, so I buy everything by the gallon jug. Uh, this unit here is uh, three quarts to fill up. So as you know, uh, there's four quarts in a gallon. Uh, so we're gonna put three quarts in and uh, then we'll run it and then we'll check the uh, oil level to finalize everything and then uh, we'll go from there. Let's 
go ahead and check our oil level. So you want to pull it out, clean it off, and put the stick back in. Because uh, while your engine's running, it, of course it's going to show high. So you're not going to get a true level until you put it back in. And as far as the new oil, it is a little bit harder to read because uh, it's a little bit cleaner. Uh, so you do want to try to get it as dry as possible. Uh, so that way when you bring it back out, you can see it. Go ahead and go back in. All right. And as you can see, we're full. We'll go ahead and finally get that final wipe down and put her up. Do recommend uh, checking it. I don't know, it just depends on uh, how often you use your generator. Uh, but right after an oil change, I do recommend uh, before you uh, get a good solid run uh, that you do check the, uh, the level. Um, and then randomly check it uh, throughout your usage uh, to make sure you're not running low. Uh, these generators do have a low oil sensor, uh, but just like anything else, uh, it has its flaws. It, it could shut off like it's supposed to, uh, but then again, it, it may not, and then uh, you have a burn up generator. So it's always good to double check. Uh, technology uh, has its own ways of failing as well. Finish everything off. We'll go back down here. And make sure that we don't have any oil leakage. So oil filter looks good. And as far as the drain plug, the drain plug looks good too. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see more of our content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, as always, uh, go ahead and leave them down below. We'll get back to you. Uh, until next time.